Hello everybody, Shotgun is 1000 for duty, welcome get back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we did a heck of a lot of exploring in this whole forest area alone. After running past this heart-to-heart -heart location that we can't do anything with, and I now discovered that there's actually another heart-to-heart -heart over here. Uh, in this episode, I'm actually going to see that heart-to-heart -heart real quick, but more importantly... We are actually going to focus on getting to where that story objective is. So that way we're not traveling like lost tourists like we were doing at the end of the last episode. Because I was just discovering areas like crazy and I couldn't even think of how to carry on my commentary because I was just like mesmerized. At how much of this area is. Just so much to explore. Definitely goes to show that is not something I would particularly enjoy when it comes to actually navigating a forest. The fact that you would easily get yourself lost. And there's just no way to recover from being lost. Unless you find the path that you was originally on. If you actually remember what that path actually was. Wait, scroll mushroom. Wait, hang on. That's the... That's the mushroom that Charlotte didn't like, was it? Yeah. Okay. Just making absolutely sure on that. So, Sparkling Pool, Secret Area, nice. And... Right, Heart to Heart. Charlotte and Melia needed in active party at any time. Right. So, let's do that then. Of course, I'm actually going to save beforehand. No boys allowed. Okay, here we go. This is going to be fun. I mean, I actually would say, Charlotte, it actually does look like a beautiful swing in... Uh, swing? Spring indeed. Makes me want to jump right in. It does look inviting. It would certainly cool us, cool us down. Are you alright, Melia? It looks as if the heat's getting to you. Why should the heat affect... Okay, you may be correct. Hmm. Maybe you should take a rest. That may be in order. I believe I am starting to see things. Yeah, it doesn't sound good indeed. <laughs> Maybe the forest air doesn't agree with you. It's very humid here. Don't worry, I just need a minute to compose myself. Well, if you say so. But I've got a great idea. Let's take a dip, just you and me. It will cool us both down, and it might even make you feel better. Yeah, are you sure? Sure, sure. We won't get another chance like this, and the water crystal's clear. Okay, okay he's feeling very shy here. Didn't you used to go swimming outdoors when you were a kid? No, never. Father would not have allowed something like that. <laughs> then why not make up for lost time? It's the perfect chance. You're right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, Melly just thinking and said that she hopes that Shulk doesn't see. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, oh, we're choking the party. That's not going to be a good sign. Okay, um, let's put Ryan in with Melia and Shulk, since we haven't had Ryan in with the two of them before. But wow. <laughs> that definitely made up for that. Okay then, uh, right, let's walk back to the Windmill Pavilion. 
since that's actually the sh uh, shortest path for us to take to where we need to go. So we'll focus on doing that then. I do actually have a drink by my side, which I should really be in the middle of drinking right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while I equip Auto Run. Oh, and immediately turn it off. Okay, we need to make a left turn from here then. But I'm actually going to keep going straight on. Hmm. There we go. Just so I can actually like fill this bit of the map off. Oh my god, this really is hard to control one-handed. Shulk, please. Thank you. Right, there we go. Okay. Just stick on the high ground. Okay, there we go. Pack my drink. Now I can control two handed again. I'm not interested in you, bird. Think of it. Yeah, there definitely is more area down over here for us to explore. Though, come to think of it. Oh, actually, no. This will actually take us back to where we were originally when we took a detour route from uh, from there. Okay, so what do you have to say? Frontier Village is just up ahead. You see red light, village just past there. I mean, red light, more like a fire more than anything, and red leaves, it's not really much of a... Well, fire is sort of like a light, to be honest. Not too much of a light, though. Well, a landmark of village entrance. Yes, no. <laughs> That's how you say hello to somebody. Yes, no. If you go away from village and turn right, their big ether crystal, you know can tell anyone. Right, so leave village, wait, so leave village, and then it, go along walkway over there to get to Frontier Village, you definitely be some, oh, it's actually something different, go away from village and turn right, let's see, I'm assuming he means the triple dig that we actually found of that decayed forest. I think that's what he's on about. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, bird lady. Welcome back, bird lady. And here we are at the Frontier Village, located actually on the uh, wing of the Bionis.
<laughs> oh dear, we're going to be hearing this a lot. Oh my word. Shulk has no idea why they're calling her Bird Lady, but it's obviously the, um, a better way for the nope one to call her, apparently. <laughs> God, these nope one is silly. And we now discover the sacred altar of the Frontier Village. Definitely interesting and also definitely got a lot of side quests. And, oh, actually. We did actually accept a quest of Satchro Marsh to actually speak to a male nopon called Dedibe. And it said that Dedibe was to be found in Frontier Village. So... We could actually find him. We can also accept some quests along the way. No more dusty cleaning pollen lambs means me get pollen dust face. Me might need to try one of those face masks. Fancy or luga mask, okay. Uh let's see, got a armor shop here. Let's see, so we got Magna Cap. Definitely raises uh, Rhine's stats significantly. But not by a lot though. Uh, no pull gear. A forest cat with a bleed defense. I think I'll buy three of these and I'll buy two Magna Caps. So Magna Top. Okay, it does actually lower Shulk's physical defense by 5, but raises everything else, so yeah. I'll buy one of them. Uh, oh! N Never mind, this one's actually even better. I think I'll buy four of these. Okay. Right. I think I'll buy five of these just in case. Whoops. Okay. So we actually have art materials here. 
And these ones actually are interesting to say the least. Because they actually are telling us of a certain character. Bitey bitey. Intimidate allows Ricky to learn further levels of this art. All of these are for Ricky. Every single one of them. So we've definitely been told about a new... Um... NPC that's going to be joining us. Let's see. Uh, what can I sell? Let's see. Sale prices. Okay, we got gravel disc. Happy carnival. Lemon sky. Paula's cup. Dawn dice. Get these. There we go. And let's buy all of these. There we go. And, uh, okay, so we got you to do a quest. You want mushy mushrooms. Oh, are you the one that requires eight of the, um, uh, yeah, eight kelp mushrooms, okay. We do already have three of them. Okay. If no one don't change ways, then what become of us? Oh, wow. So there's a basement floor. I had a feeling on that. Oh, oh, that's how you get to the basement floor. Okay. Underground store. Hello, what's this? Reservoir. I mean, this is definitely intriguing. <laughs> Spicy nut. <laughs> Dear, I'm not going down that road. I'm not going down that road. <laughs> Adidi. Quirky liver. And that's a material. Right, okay. Could take note of that for when we do need one. Got no pond villager, not really of an importance in that scenario. Another no pond villager. We need actually to talk to people that's actually got a proper name. Rumble box. Another rumble box. Whoa! Alright, three Empress Beetles. Oh, for Colony 6. And there's a red orb over here. Flower bracelet. Okay. Let's see. Nopon. Okay, two Nopon villagers. I see there's another quest. We dreamt about it most oopers that live in Magna. I mean, it's really bad feeling. Please get rid of them. Okay. Oh. More monster quests. 
I actually didn't see what that was. Or that. But whatever. Uh, right. There's a sh uh, merchant guy over here. Oh, it's just not one fish. Okay, never mind. Um, actually, is there like new collectibles in this? Yeah, indeed there are. Strength up three. And there we go. So this is a dead end. But at least we actually discovered that this area is here. So with it coming to that, I'm going to end things off for this episode. Next time on Steam Ray Chronicles Definitive Edition, uh, we'll obviously explore a lot of Frontier Village and see what the nope on here have to offer us. See you guys then.